From 1989 to 1998, the Prairie View A&M Panthers lost 80 consecutive games. That losing streak almost doubles Columbia's 44-game losing streak, so it's safe to say that was the darkest period of any college football program ever. A big reason for this was, of course, money. They couldn't afford any scholarship football players, so for most of those years, they had teams that were practically intramural. And for all we know, they could have had a professor or two on the roster. That's how bad it was. That's why the news of them now being promoted to Division I FBS may have proud Panther alumni freaking out that they could possibly become the doormat of college football again. Luckily for them, Coach Terry Scooper got the job as the new head coach of Prairie View A&M. And he can't wait to get to work and silence all the doubters, but sadly, there will be some things holding us back. We will be playing our new rival, Texas, every single season. Conference-wise, we'll start in the America, but once we win the conference, we'll get promoted to the Big 12. For the team overall, we're a very measly 50 overall. We're just absolutely horrible. Lastly, on the trail, we can't recruit any four or five-star recruits until we make the Big 12. Even with no one in the nation believing in the football program, Coach Scooper knows he can turn this program into a national powerhouse and win them a national title. We were very bad at the game of football. Finished 0-8. I mean, we improved a lot, though. We started the season as a 50 overall. We ended as a 53, which I didn't even know was possible, but it happened, so at least we're getting better. Were there any games? I mean, every single FCS team we played, we got annihilated. I mean, that just cannot happen if we have any chance of winning any of these games, but I mean, we played some teams close. Like, Tulane was close. So was East Carolina. Oh, we lost to Navy in overtime. Like, we turned things around in conference play. It's just our offense. It just, it only decided to show up for two weeks. Once, one week against Navy, and then one week against UTSA. Outside of that, it was just so bad. For recruiting, these first year classes are always a struggle, man, but I feel like we did an okay job. There's not going to be that many commits. We have a really good kicker, really good offensive guard. I mean, our offensive line should be really good for the future, which is nice because offensive line is never easy to uh, recruit in this game, that's for sure, but not many commits. Like, this class is never going to be stellar. Coach Scooper, he's trying his best, man, but nobody wants to come here. I really don't blame him. We are awful. Coach Scooper's first player's leaving stage, and it's just a pile of crap. None of these guys are that great at the game of football. We're really not going to be missing much. I really hope we hit some home runs to the transfer portal like that would be great but all in all there's really not that many guys leaving the program so i guess that's nice even though the roster sucks i'll take it man hudson wolfie 672 30 tight end love seeing that and also ben cutter i like that last name that's cool he, they're both really good players especially hudson wish we picked up more than two transfers but maybe we'll get more next offseason but either way coach scuber he's ecstatic side days here for coach scuber and truthfully there's only three guys we can really get because all these guys were trailing for and we just don't have enough recruiting points to put into him so yeah those guys are all lost cost but these three guys, we can go three or three here. I'll be very, very happy, especially get the 6'4 running back. That would be nice. Oh my gosh. Charleston, we couldn't convince you to come play college football. Dude, I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe he's going to join a cult or become a hippie. Hopefully, it's nothing like too crazy. But yeah, Charleston, I think you made a mistake, dude. You would have been a monster here. 6'4, 218. Uh, that's a big miss. We did pick up Cedric Wallet and Logan Van Fossen, though, which is nice. One of those two guys. These three, though, we knew we were not going to get them. So, not really shocked by that. So, this is Coach Cooper's first recruiting class of this video. And it, it's, you know, it's not great. You know, there's only eight guys in the class. A lot of them are offensive linemen, though, which is nice. I like getting the big boys up front, but yeah, there's just not that many guys that are going to be coming in that's new, but the bright side is most of these guys are probably going to start in like within two to three years, so that should definitely help us for the future. Picked up a good kicker, too, so our special team should improve. Josiah Carter, he's going to instantly come in and start. Cedric Wallen's pretty good, but those guys are Jukos. Logan Van Fossen, really big pickup on sunny day. And then the offensive line class, it's definitely the highlight of this uh, cycle, that's for sure. 120th class in the country, just not very good at all. The Brian says there's really no place to go but up. I mean, I hope to God we do not go down because that would be very, very dark. But I know Coach Scooper is going to become a better recruiter. Things are going to go in the right direction. Year two for Coach Scooper is here, and the team looks a lot better. We picked up this punter. Oh my God, he's 6'3, 251. He's like that Penn State punter from a few years ago. I think I was an absolute tank. But yeah, this team is a lot better than the team last year. The team last year's highest overall is like a 75. I made sure to redshirt like as many people as possible because I knew last year we probably wouldn't win a single game. And lo and behold, I was right. Carson Black. I like like this guy a lot. 6'2", 183. He's already bald and he has one of those cool mustaches. Kind of looks like a pirate, so it's kind of sweet. He's definitely a mature young guy. I think he's going to be really, really good, so I'm excited to see what he can do. He's only, yeah, he's only a, like a redshirt freshman, so like this guy's got a pretty high ceiling. The Panthers, man, we're 74 overall. We finally freaking beat a team, so that's nice. 1-3. and three. Our point differential's really not that bad, so pretty content happy with how things have started this season, not gonna lie. Lost to Texas week one. Not really shocked by that. Beat the crap out of Chattanooga. Are you... Bro, lost to two FCS schools. I thought we'd cut that out this season.
looks like we did not. So three of our losses and two of them are against FCS schools. Just no, bad. I hate when this happens. We're losing a defensive end commit to uh, Appalachian State. Just, I hate Appalachian after what happened in 2007, but it makes me hate him even more. For the guys that are on our board though, like it's not too bad. Like these guys aren't like game breakers by me. It's like, there's not like a 90 overall, just ready to play year one, kind of like a Brock Bowers type in this class. But I mean, there's still some good players and we're leading for most of them too. So that's definitely a good sign. We got South Florida this week. They're one and three. They're they're not that great, so if, like, we're gonna win one of these games against a team that's actually an FBS school, this might be your best chance, Coach Scoober, so let's just go out there and try to do our best. And for this game against USF, we have a boatload, I mean, a steam load, I think that's, I don't know, a boatload is, I don't know what a steam, yeah, that doesn't make sense, steam is not, a shipload, yeah, that makes more sense of guys visiting for this game, so we just need to go out there and just try and win, because if we do, I think some of these guys will commit. Don't know how I feel about this, because Mr. Black is, like, 60 speed, oh, this might work, Black! Oh, God, get in there. Yes, let's go, man. Tortoise, tortoise right there. A little turtle, turtle action, but we do get on the board first, which is nice. Good job, Carson. I'm telling you, dude, today could be a magical day. We're tied at seven. We're still in this bad boy. Need to score here, though. Need to make that happen. Oh, is that it? Oh, please, Carson, make the throw. What the f Ah, uh, uh, I thought he had separation. No, maybe I'm wrong. I underestimated that guy's athletic skills. Oh, it's my fault. I got baited, dude. Oh, Tanner, buddy. What are we doing, man? I mean, we're down 13 points. We should be down like six or seven, but I threw the interception, so that's on me. But we see you try and score right here and hope for the best. Ooh. Oh, my God. Sweet cheese. Ah, balls, testicles. Uh, fortune cookie, dude. Yeah, we lost. It's my fault, man. This one's on me. We had a chance. At least I think we did, and it just, it did not happen, Coach Scooper. Oh, God. Oh, we finished 1-11, dude. The only game we won was against FCS school. We also went 1-2 and two against FCS schools, and 0-9 and against FBS schools, so pretty stellar work. I mean, we were just getting spanked left and right. I was somewhat played uh, Eastern Carolina close, then Tulane somewhat close to, and I don't know Navy, like, 18th that it should have been closer than that than memphis they just bent us over dude and gave it to us raw i mean goodness gracious we did pick up some new commits on the trail but once again it's gonna be another small class this guy dylan matekovich that guy's definitely russian so i'm gonna keep my eye out on that guy because i do not trust russians at all whatsoever it's just i think it has to do with the fact that you know russia's basically antarctica like it's like negative 30 degrees over there and what happened in that rocky movie where they killed creed that russian guy did with steroids and stuff i just don't trust russians at all man so gonna keep my eye out for that guy but regardless it's a decent start like this class should be better than the one last year joshua is transferred it really won't miss this guy 61 overall just not very good at cornerback but for the guys graduating i mean there's some solid players like some seven oh this guy's name is panda <laughs> that's sweet but yeah there's really like some solid guys like cj how did this team only win one game i it's gonna leave just so many future detectives and like private investigators confused for centuries to come i just it doesn't make any sense man maybe coach scoober's cursed i mean only time will tell this guy's name's prince too like this graduating class had some cool names another transfer portal hall we're not gonna take this guy though armani he's just not good enough for us even though we are awful and that's saying a lot nathan thompson though we'll take him for coast carolina this guy's 72 we're all from conway he looks like a solid player big boy up front we'll definitely take him second side of day here for coach scooper it's a lot of last year we're gonna go after the for sure guys that i know we can get we can get all four of these guys i feel fairly confident we should go four for four here and you know what maybe we'll get jason smith i doubt it but that would be really nice if that does happen side days here and we went four for four i think and no yeah, we didn't jason smith we definitely did not put points into the whole Paul me oh my goodness UCF I feel like that's a little overkill he's only 68 overall and they put like 15,000 points into him but it is what it is man we still got four guys I'm happy about second signing class for coach Scuba is officially in the books and you know it's not anything spectacular unfortunately but it is the only second year so I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna put the panic button or anything like that I feel like we did an okay job especially considering the on-field results like we don't really have much to sell to these recruits other than early playing time because we are just awful see I'd say Devonis looks really good though 6-3 receiver definitely slept on dude ranked the 254th wide receiver safe to say he's gonna definitely outperform that richard's solid so is elijah turner really good athlete eona ellis is really good as well the russian down here so there's some good players like this blake bacon guy <laughs> it's cool last name hunter fourth rank class nothing too spectacular we're still in the triple digits unfortunately but the class is better than one last year so i mean we're moving forward baby steps that's for sure year three i 
just, you know, we're probably going to lose a lot of games with this team because, like I said, maybe Coach Scooper had, like, some witchcraft ancestors or something, or maybe his ancestor was that girl that was trying to eat Hansel and Gretel in that fairy tale. I really don't know what it is, but there's no reason this team should not win, like, some games this year. It's really, really a lot better than I expected it to be. Carson Black, Mustachio's back at quarterback, 66 speed. I mean, I still like him just because of the Mustachio, but he's just got to play better. I mean, last year, he was just not good enough. He's got really good acceleration. Didn't even notice that, but he is lost on the field. Maybe that's why he sucked. I don't know, but he should be serviceable for us. Like, he's not one of our worst players. The offense should definitely carry the team, though, because we have two studs. Hudson Wolfie, a six... That's right, this guy was the transfer, wasn't he? I told you guys that was a huge pickup, dude. This guy's gonna be a stud this year. Also, Darrell Robinson from Suitland, Silver Hill, Maryland. He is six foot one, two hundred. He's only a sophomore. Ooh, by a senior year, this guy's gonna be an absolute animal. But as of right now, dude, he's one of the best players of the team. We really need him to carry. For the schedule this year, we open week one against Texas probably would be a bloodbath, but when it comes to the FCS goals, I'm gonna keep scheduling them because apparently there are crypts in Oh, I missed one. I gotta, I gotta schedule. Here we go. Let's do uh, Montana. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we've beaten them. We probably have. Actually, no, we lost to them last year. I remember that. Still got Rice, SMU. Like, the Americans, not great, you know? Like, I looked at the overalls last year. I really wasn't that impressed. Like, there is an avenue for us to, like, make a crazy jump up with wins this year. I don't think it'll happen because, like I said, I think this team might be cursed, but we'll see. Still down here in the basement, sitting at seventh in the America Division A. I mean, I can't really be upset that we're four and five, so we're definitely winning a lot more games. We already got, four, what, three more wins than last year. We have a win in our conference, too, so our first FBS win probably there, but our point differential's not too bad, so all in all, I'm not really too upset. Texas turn us into a cream puff. We beat North Dakota State, Chattanooga, and Montana. Let's go. We went 3-0 oh against the FCS schools. Got crushed by Rice. They just put us in a bot. Oh, whoa! We beat SMU 6-3, and three, so an oppressive win there, but UTSA beat us. So did North Texas, East Carolina. Very surprising at the one team that we've been in the American is 6-3 and three SMU and by 22, man. wonder what we did that week, but we just need to try to replicate that. As for the commits early in the class, it is by far the best start we've had in the recruiting trail. We already have, what, five, six, 70 plus overall guys committed? Yeah, six of them, so that's big improvement there. We got some offensive linemen down here as well, some 66. Oh, we got a Tanner right there. That's nice, but yeah, I'm really happy with how we started on the trail so far. I mean, there's just a lot more to be happy about, that's for sure. And we're in great position for three 80 plus overall guys. Will E Bobby Hines and Anthony Quero. Like, two of these guys are Jucos, but, like, this Anthony Quero guy from Oklahoma is really good. And so is Will Elan from Oklahoma. They're both from Oklahoma, but just nobody's recruiting them. So we should be able to land all three. That would be nice. Also got Bryson Madison. We're in a battle for him. Joe Hedrick, another battle. I mean, if we can get all five of these guys, whoo, Coach Scuba, that would be nice. Taking out Tulane this week, and considering that we're in a head-to-head -head battle for a recruit, we really want to win this game. We want to showcase that recruit that we are on an upper trajectory. They are on a downward trajectory. Trajectory Coach Scuba. Let's go out there and just try to pull out the dub. So far, so good. We're up seven points, right? Yeah, seven to nothing. And Bradley kicked this field goal. I mean, I'd like for them to miss, but it never happens, dude. I get my hopes up for these field goals. They never miss them. Yeah, that's just that guy's got a boot on him. Sadly, though, it appears that we have not done much since. We are still only up four points, and they're at the goal line. So defense, you need to step up here. Come on, boys. Put on your big boy pants. Oh my god, we all fell for the fake. Please don't. Wow. Wow, that guy's definitely been in the weight room. Kai Horton scores a touchdown. Not good. Nice to see we bounce back. The defense is definitely doing their job. All we really need to do is just have the defense keep doing what we're doing. Get a stop right here. We should win this game. Interception. Intercept. What? Where was the deep si Oh, God. Okay. We need you to get us a field great here, Mr. Black. Mustachio. Defense did not help us out at all. All we need is a first down here, Mustachio. Circle. Is that a first? That's, that's, that's okay. Just make the kick now, Tanner. It's right through the middle. It's, it's, yeah. I think that's diagonal or something. So just kick it right up and through. We got this. 33-yarder. Just make this. And I promise you, son, you will have the best night of your life. Whether if that's drinking, maybe some Uno. I don't know. If you're asking me, I'm not a big drinking guy. I like Uno. I'll take the Uno. I'll take the Uno. I'll take the Uno. I'll play with you. Let's go. Finally, we beat. Someone, okay, yeah, let's go. And after the win, we picked up two Bobby Hines, Anthony Quir Oh, we picked up Kobe Mayonnaise and uh, Julian Okafor. Let's go, okay? We would. That's just so good. I'm so happy right now, dude. This is definitely one of the best weekends Coach Scoopers had in his entire life. Probably back all the way to like high school or middle school, man. It's been a long, long time. I'm super duper happy. We basically sold our soul for that win against Tulane because the last two weeks. I just both were blowouts. They were not close. So we finished five and seven. You know, it's not that great. We're still kind of in the basement. Actually, we're probably like below the basement. What's under the basement? The dirt. Yeah, we're still in the dirt of the American Division A, but we won two conference games this year, man. So there's definitely like something to look forward to. Like we're getting better. Some good and some bad news on the trail. Joe Hedrick. 
He's going to Washington. Just I'm gonna miss him, especially against the Dreads. 6'4, 237 athlete, 78 overall. Like this guy was gonna be a stub. But we did pick up Will Island, who I am so happy to get. We picked up some other new guys as well, but I don't really I think we picked up a new yeah, we picked up Aaron Shell. There was somebody else we picked up. I don't really remember. Either way, this class looks really, really sticking good. So I'm happy with it. We got Ralphie transfer, the 45 overall fullback. Apparently he's gonna get playing time at Oregon State. Have a hard time believing that, but best of luck to you, Ralphie. As for the guys graduating, there's some solid stars that we had, like some 80 plus overall guys, but Coach Scoober should be able to recruit. Oh, wow, yeah, we have a lot of guys leaving. Holy, yeah, okay. Thank goodness we have the best recruiting class we've had so far this video coming in because we have a lot of production leaving us, man, which is not good. Coach Scoober's third recruiting class is in the books. It, it's just so much better, guys. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Improving on the trail and on the field. It's kind of like a cohesive unit. It's like twins because they, like, think the same things at the same time and they do this thing same time if you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm really happy with how this class looks. You guys know about the three-headed monster we have. Now, sadly, Will Elon and Bobby are both, you know, Jucos, which is pretty annoying, but Anthony Quero, he is not a Juco. He is a true freshman, 80 overall. He's gonna walk in and probably start if I were to guess. Armani Sutton's really good. So is Dominique Glasgow. Like, this class, man, it's gonna help us out in a big way, because we needed it bad. Yes, we're out of the... What? We had a four-star walk-on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut that guy. A. Jadson, but uh, yeah, it's probably why we're inside the triple digits. Even if we didn't get that four-star, though, I think think we would be inside the triple digits so really happy with the progress first look at the team for next year and good god this Darrell Robinson guy is a freak dude he was like an 85 overall last year he's up to a 94 we're just gonna feed that monster the entire year dude Hudson Wolfie's really good like this team looks a lot better than the team last year it's clear that we're going on an upper trajectory even though we lost a lot of guys from last year's team which is pretty disappointing but yeah I would be shocked if this team loses a lot of games this year if we lose like I don't know five or six I'd be okay but if we lose like eight or like seven like last year that would suck mustachios back at quarterback carson black he hasn't been anything stellar like all i really need him to do is just feed the beast in the backfield with Darrell. i mean that's all he has to do. just hand it off to him you're an 80 overall like make them solid for the run and just hit wide open play actions to uh mr wolfie at tight end like that's legitimately all i need to do with mustachio you'll be good this year if you could just do that for us and the guy that is going to carry us this season Darrell robinson we are going to feed this monster i'm going to give him at least 30 carries a game hopefully i hope that he does not get hurt because if he does that would suck but yeah that's the mindset this year we're just going to feed this beast. He's 89 speed, 70 strength, 95 agility, 99 acceleration. Just such a good running back. One and three. Eh, Coach Scoober, I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely not what I was anticipating to see. What? Yeah, that's not, because... Texas guaranteed loss, but we've lost two of our other non-conference games. That's just, that cannot happen, dude. It's just not good enough. Yep, Texas only by 20 this year, though. So we're, how did we lose? Oh my God, guys. We lost to Akron at home by 28. We beat Texas State and then Bowling Green. I mean, I scheduled these teams thinking we can go 3-0, maybe make a bowl game this year because FCS games do not count towards bowl eligibility. And we go off and go 1-2 and two in these three games. Just uh, SMH my head, dude. We got rice this week. Food. I don't want to lose to food. Food, but they're ranked they're really good so we'll see i'm not too confident but i i'm hopeful man and for this game against rice to somehow ranked we have the most important visitors weekend so far this video all 10 guys are visiting these guys are very very good football players we really need a quarterback for the future so we, if we can get one of these guys to commit after this win hopefully if we do win that would be nice dad 14 early we're at the goal line need seven there's no way around it guys hand it out to Darrell, the big strong manly man come on Darrell. Come on, buddy. You're good at football. Just get in there. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, he looks very, very... Oh, he got clobbered, though. We need to throw the flag there, Zebra, man. We're down seven, though. We're back in it. Ooh, we're back in it, guys. We're tied at 14. There is life. There is hope in the air. It would go a long way if they could, like, miss this, but you guys know. They never miss these kicks. It's annoying, but yeah. We're only down three. We're still in this bad boy. We stuck in there, dude. We're only down three points, but I need to make this ice kick to make sure this game goes to overtime. I wish I could go for this, but we're just simply too far away. That should go through, right? Please don't miss this, Tanner. That'd be very embarrassing. Yeah, okay, good. Overtime now? Whew. Okay, they're sending it for a field goal. That's a big W stop right there, dude. Big, big W stop. And it's up, and okay, it's good. It's fine. Need seven here, Mustachio. Let's make it happen, boys. We got this. We are going for it right here. We are not sending it for a field goal. Coach Scooper's playing to win. I love the run box right here, too. Please be a give. Please be a give. Oh, it's a keeper. Carson, spin! Oh, balls! Yeah. Yeah, the fudge. Okay, yeah, we lost. God dang it, Tanner. Okay, I thought the run box was... Okay, that was my fault. I thought that would work. It did not. Oh, God. Complete 180. Let's go, Coach Screw. We finished 5-3 in the conference. 6-6 six six overall. We should make a bowl game because, yeah, I made sure to schedule all FBS opponents. So, yeah, man, this is great. 5-1 in our division. Just good job. Got crushed by Florida Atlantic by 21, but we bounced back. Beat UTSA in overtime. We beat North Texas, who's 10-2. And, yeah, wow, we won three games that were basically 
basically the identical score back to back to back. That's funny. I lost to Navy only by one. And then we ended the season beating Memphis, who crushed us last year. So yeah, things are definitely going in the right direction. I mean, a big part of that's a running back to Ralph Robinson. See, he almost ran for 2,000 yards this season, dude. I don't do this often. I don't really ever shout out like players in these videos. But this kid, oh, he got hurt. Oh, that's awkward. Not really shot by that. He got 335 carries this year. I told you guys I'd feed the beast. And I tell you what, we did. But he got hurt, which sucks for the bull game. But yeah, he was really good this year. For the recruiting board that we found a new guy, Chris Taylor Jr. Juco, we really want this kid. But yeah, we're leading for most of these guys. I'm kind of worried though in the offseason. Like we don't have that many offseason signing day recruiting points. But we're leading for most of these guys. So Coach Scoober's going to have to pick the guys that he really wants. But we should be able to get the guys that we go after. We did pick up Cedric Martin though, which has to be mentioned. Dude, this guy's going to be the quarterback of the future from right here in Texas. 82 overall, like nobody recruited him at all, which is just shocking. And just coaching malpractice, scouting malpractice, whatever you want to call it, dude. But we'll gladly take him. He's got 92 throw power, 81 accuracy, 78 speed. So he's a dull threat. I mean, this kid's going to be a stud here. I have no doubts about that. Oh, sweet heavens. We're playing Arkansas. Like, can we play like a Mountain West team or something? We're playing the Vampire Piggies. I don't think this is going to go well. We don't have our best player. He's injured like this. I don't see this going well at all. We're going to get murdered. I don't know how I feel about... What's this thing? Oh, tackle. Oh, I missed. Please, no. He just wanted it more, dude. He just wanted it more. We need the weight room. We're somehow still in this game. Big shout out to our defense. Their offense has sucked. Even though we have Darrell playing too, which is kind of shocking. But if we can score seven right here, though, we can make things interesting. That's for sure. And of course, I throw an interception. I hate myself so much, dude. I thought that Wolfie had enough separation. I could just loft it over the deep. I guess not. I'm an idiot, dude. Ugh. Down 13. There's not much time left. Things are looking very, very bleak. We need to convert this fourth down right here, though, if we have any just somehow chance of winning this game come on mustachio is that open Pl and he launches it to outer space god dang it carson yeah it's over i mean i knew we lose i just wish we had a chance to win and we just did not capitalize the offense was putrid dominique is transferring uh, it's not good he's six seven three oh three and he was probably one of the best recruits we had last cycle like freshman wise so yeah this guy's definitely a big loss but at least though Durrell's coming back for another season so i will definitely take that he's gonna be a 99 overall i mean that guy was just so good this year as for the graduates there's a decent amount of guys that were starting but none of these guys were too great except for Hudson Wolfie will definitely miss that guy because our tight ends are just not as good as him like tight ends are so hard to recruit in this game EK White was really good Breon Neal like there's some decent players here but we're not really missing too much the biggest thing is that Darrell's coming back that guy was our best player by a mile it's the early signing period I am not happy Kale Validate just is not interested pro potential is a d which is confusing because we almost had a guy get drafted albeit it was a running back but dude it's prairie view a and m for crying out loud like we're not alabama we're not churning out guys left and right what does that guy expect for the rest of the guys on the board like we have a pretty decent lead for most of these guys as you guys know so i'm kind of just spreading around the points and just hoping for the best if we can get like six or seven of these guys i will be very very happy with that we'll, we'll see what happens i'm feeling somewhat optimistic coach scuba we'll see uh, I'm sorry, I had to wipe off my glasses. I gotta make sure I'm looking at this correctly. So we did not give Caleb, which I expect because he blocked us out. We did not get any of these three guys. They're just not going anywhere, even though we are late for all of them. And we did not get Chris Taylor. Are you serious? We had a 3,000 point lead for this kid. And we put a thousand into him. And then Michigan comes out of nowhere and just, I am sad. So this is our class. All nine of it. I am not going to lie. I am very, very upset and just... How did we not get... Uh, yeah, this is not good, guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We really needed a good recruiting class this year, and this is not... No, this is not good enough, dude. It's as simple as that, Coach Scuba. I mean, we picked up two really good players. Cedric Martin, quarterback of the future. You guys know about him. Tony DeLillis. I think it's how you say that. 6'3", running back, powerful guy. I mean, these two guys would be really, really good in the backfield, but besides that, it's decent, but it's not anything great. There's only nine guys in the class, man. I can't... Uh, this is not good. So we finished with the 121st ranked recruiting class this year. I mean, at least we went up a team prestige but i am pissed off right now i'm disappointed i really thought that we'd get at least six or seven guys to sign dan we got like one or two which is just not what i was hoping for the new year has arrived and it's the darrell robinson team i'm going to feed him the ball 300 plus times this year and he is gonna have to live with it if he gets hurt we are screwed this team is pretty solid like it's definitely better than the team last year considering how well we did in the american last year like i think we could win the american this year it'll be interesting to see how much better our defense is and our offense as well so we'll see how things go but i feel somewhat 
confident. Carson's going to be the quarterback this year. Just Mustachio, just hand it off to Durrell. That's all you need to do. Do what you did last year. Hand it off to Durrell, run play action, hit the open man. Just do not launch the ball to outer space like you did in the bowl game because that was just awful, man. His accuracy is buns. Some other players that help us out a lot this year is Will Elon at free safety. He's really good. Also, Nathan Thompson, Bobby Hines. Like, we got a pretty solid defense on offense. Like, I think we'll be pretty stout. Covers predictions, wow. North Texas is 77 overall. 88 Navy is really stinking good. And we're a not... Okay, this might be the year, guys. I do not want to be that guy that, like, hypes us up and then we suck because I do that way too often. But 90 overall team, I did not expect to be that high. So, yeah, we could definitely win the American this year. 8-2, and two, this is exactly what I wanted to see, dude. We're playing complimentary football, 5-1 in the conference. Our offense, like, doesn't score that many points, but that's by design because we run the ball a crap ton. But the defense is barely on the field, so we're not giving up as many points. It's just good old-fashioned complimentary football. We're just feeding the beast to Earl Robinson. And so far, dude, it looks like it's working, so we're just going to keep doing that. I'm sure one of these losses are to Texas. I'm just curious who the other one was too. First two games are blowouts. Barely beat Louisiana Lafayette. Oh yeah, losses. Oh my god, FAU by 30. Oh no, but since then though, we've bounced back. We went five in a row, so at least we're training up in the right direction. That's the bright side. So you though, in the trade last two commits last week, uh, Peyton Matt and also Akeem Corner Jr. One's going to Penn State, one's going to Memphis. Pretty disappointing, but the good news is the rest of the class is pretty good so far that we've got committed. I'm really happy with how it started, honestly. I mean, we've addressed a lot of team needs like we really need linebackers defensive linemen uh, we also need some safeties and yeah i'm just happy with how we've done so far we got a good amount of commits this week we're taking on navy on the road it's definitely gonna be a challenge for us i know they're four and two in the american they're also like a pretty high overall so don't expect this game to be easy but i think we can win no clue why it says g10 instead of navy i thought he fixed that i guess that but regardless we're down seven the offense has sucked so far that needs to change asap i really hope they miss this kick in the snow maybe they'll muff it no they won't we have got a score right here dude we're down 17 i I, this is not going well. I really thought we'd win this game. So far, we are getting crushed. Come on, Mustachio. Find somebody in the end zone square. Oh, my God. Oh, that's... I found somebody. It was the other team. God dang it. I don't know how we're in this position, but I do not care. Mustachio, get us a touchdown. Let's escape with a win. We do not deserve this at all whatsoever, but let's go take it. Mustachio! Come on, Carson. I'm kind of scared. Square. Square! Square! Let's go, Mustachio! Come on, man. Defense, do not get must or nuts to the face and we should win and escape with the dub. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a rush with the Russian right here. We're gonna get a sack. Come on, Russian. That was a horrible spin move. Oh my god, it's from the other side. Let's go. Good job, defense. Bobby Hines with the sack. That's GG's, dude. We escaped with a win in a game that we definitely should not have won. But I'll take it. Lost our last game of the season, huh? Didn't we? I mean, yeah, we did. Memphis by eight. That's disappointing. We're playing UAB in the America Conference Championship game. I looked at their overall, and it's not high. It's like an 84. Somehow, they're like 11-1. I don't know how exactly those two things happen, but whatever it is, dude, I don't care. We should be able to win this game. I have not started great. They're obviously pretty good. We're dead seven, but I just, I've still got confidence. Come on, Mustachio. Durrell? That's gonna be a touchdown to Durrell. Please, Durrell. Speed. 99 overall. He wants it more. He wants it more! Good job, Durrell. Tied up at 14. I was hoping that we'd have a little lead, but you know what? We're here. We can get a lead, so that's not the end of the world. I don't know. This play action is kind of like high risk, high reward, because they might sack me. Please don't sack me. I'll square! Mustachio make the throw. Let's go. Nice catch. All right. See you out. Let's go, man. Oh, yes, dude. We're up 14 points. All we need is the first start here, and this game should be GG's in the chat. Can we convert this? Oh, yeah. Corner rats wide. Please, thank you. We did not launch that ball to freaking India. Let's go. That's for sure, GG's. Let's go, boys. Good job. So, and what is this? I think year five for Coach Scoober. We finally get, actually, is it year five? I don't know. It's year four, year five. We finally get an American Conference Championship, and you know, it wasn't really even that dominant. Like, we lost, what, two or three games to the American this year, but either way, we're going on the Big 12 next year. I think we're ready. No idea what this bowl game is. I think it's the Liberty Bowl or something. We're playing Virginia and it's snowing once again, but I mean, we won the last game that it snowed. At least I think we did. We might have lost, but either way, we need to win this game. Just do what you do best, Darrell. Just do what you do best, brother. Cut to the outside. There it is. Yep, that's like what? The, I don't know. 50th touchdown in his career, something crazy like that. Good job, Darrell. Already up 14. We're about to make this kick right here. At least, hopefully, I don't shake it. But yeah, dude, we're definitely showing that we're the better team. We just got to keep doing that. So far, though, so good. Please make this, Tanner. Thank you. I was talking a big game right there. Had to back it up. Up 17 points. It's not even halftime yet. Things are going great. This has been a bow up, and we're up 25 points. We're about to score again. I mean, I have no complaints. This is the exact performance I was hoping for, dude. And we're just balling. Here we go. X. X. Oh, yeah. I got that. Please. 
No, yeah, okay, well, th thank God we're up 25 points. Doesn't even matter. My fault, Mustachio. I have been dreading this day for a long time. Durrell, you carried us the last two years. I'm gonna miss you so much, too. Good luck in the NFL. For the guys graduating, there is a solid amount of guys, and they're all pretty decent, too. Like, I'm not gonna be, like, too torn up about it, except, like, Will Elon was really gonna, gonna miss that guy. Kind of shocked because they get drafted, but yeah, there's definitely some solid players here, so losing them sucks. Side days arrive for Coach Scoober, and this class is pretty stinking good. I'm happy with it. Like, honestly, top to bottom. It sucks to only sign 18 guys. I wanted to try and at least get 20. I mean, maybe next year we can get like a full 25 man class. I doubt it, but that would be lovely and that would help me out a lot because we are struggling with depth right now. That's for sure. Well, Dolly Helton looks really good though. He is a Juco, which is pretty unfortunate. Alfred or Alfredo Cholo looks really good. James Jefferson, the Quinston. Love that name right there. Guy looks like a stuff from Utah. Nicholas Irwin, 6'6, 264 as a defensive tackle. Love that size. Corvette King, CT Go. Oh, wow. He's 6'5, 226 as a running back. I love that. He's going to be a monster. Out of the triple digits this year, 61st class of the country. Up to a three star school, too. So we're moving up in the world. We should have more guys interested in us next year, especially since we're moving up to the Big 12. So really happy about that. Coach Scoober, this is the team we're going to be bringing to the Big 12 this year. I like the Big 12. It's not really that great. So we should be competitive year one. Also, considering the team's in a pretty decent spot. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. Cedric Martin, we are actually going to have a competent quarterback. No offense to the mustachio, but Cedric is going to be a stud. 79 speed. He's already an 86 overall. It's just a red shirt freshman. I mean, I'm just so excited to see what this kid can do. And the best position on the team is the wide receiver rooms. So that should bode well for Cedric. Got Elijah Turner is really good. Siante Devanez, Blake Bacon. Love that last. He's 96 speed too, man. This guy's got a lot going for him. A sweet last name, high speed, good athleticism. I mean, I'm pretty happy this three-headed monster we have a receiver. I mean, these guys are, we're deep. We got Tishon Justice and then also Max James down here. As for the schedule this year, I tried scheduling Texas in one of the first six weeks. They're just not available for whatever reason. They're like VIP or something. But we're playing Texas a on week one, so I got that going for us. West Kentucky, Ball State. We should go 3-0 with those three teams. Let's hope, though. We'll see. Then for the conference games, there's not a single ranked team, like I said. The Big 12 is not that great. I'm sure there's some solid teams here. Like, we have three road games in a row, so that won't be easy, but, I mean, we're the only ranked team on our schedule outside of Texas A&M, so that's nice. Ooh, no. I, uh, yeah, six and six. I, I'm, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I just, how did we were the best team actually retire West Virginia, but we finished in fifth place in our own division, dude? That's just disappointing. Texas AM sucks. So that was a bad loss, apparently. Only lost by two. Only beat Western Kentucky. I mean, we were just not very impressive. Lost to Houston by 24. Cincinnati. I mean, oh man, we got blown out a couple times. Beat West Virginia. Lost to Baylor only by three. And then, yeah, the Mormons. They took us to the woodshed too. Like, we just had random games where we just got blown out. And I don't really know why it happened or how, but I'm sad about about it. At least the bright city's recruiting is going a lot better. I mean, we have a lot more commits, and none of these guys are Jucos, dude. I have had so many freaking Jucos this video. I keep recruiting like 81 overall Jucos. Like, they're fun to have, but they just leave after like a couple years, man. It's just so freaking annoying, but every single guy is a freshman, so these guys can develop in the system, and they're all going to be good players, so I'm happy about that. And the winner of the bowl game that nobody will watch is us against UAB in the Lockheed Armed Forces Bowl. We played them in the American a couple times. I'm just going to simulate this game. Like, I just do not want to play the same team, so we're just going to simulate this and hopefully for the best. All right, guys, big money, big money, big money. Come on. We better. And oh, wow, we barely won. I was really hoping we'd be more convincing, but a win's a win. I'll take it. Oh, no, dude. Two transfers, and one of them is the six foot five running back, and another one is the six foot four wide receiver. Like, these guys were two of our best recruits last cycle. That just sucks. There's no other way around it, man. We do have Bobby Hines coming back for another season, and he won that. I don't know what that was. I think that's like Thor's Hammer or something like that, whatever that thing was up there. So, good job to him. For the guys graduating, there is quite a bit, which is pretty unfortunate, but I mean, most of these guys were starters, which sucks as well, especially along the offensive line. We're losing three starters there, which is never a good sign, but I think we should be able to replace them. Side day periods here, and we're going after these guys up top. Dom, Cunningham, Jamarcus Sullivan, Ben O'Neill. I don't really need because we recruited defensive line pretty well, but we're still going to go after him. Cordero Vian Ball is pretty solid, and then Handsome Harris, mostly because his name's Handsome and also he's an athlete, so kind of curious what he plays. He could be like a 75 overall or something like that, but we'll see. Did not get Cordero Vian Ball, which is unfortunate. We did get Matt. I didn't even put any points into him, I don't think. Oh, so we only got... Uh, Oh, no, he missed out on Jimmy Johnson, too. So he missed out on three guys, but we got everybody else, which is cool. So this is a recruiting class for Coach Scuba this year, and we needed it so bad, dude. This class is really, really solid. I'm happy with it top to bottom. What do we got? Like 15 of the guys that are 60 plus overalls, 14, something like that. We got some tight ends. They're just so hard to recruit, dude. Like finding really good tight ends, I say it all the time, but they're just so challenging in this freaking game for whatever reason. But yeah, all in all, I like the class a lot. I'm happy with it. Al Ellis is really good. He's a big, strong man. Oh, 6'6 is a defensive lineman. I love that. John Devers really 
really good wide receiver. Curtis Jones, 6'8". Good God. Oh, yeah. I love seeing that. Christian Abelez, Desmond Turner, Eric Bush, 6 set. This is the hype, man. This is why it sucks losing those two transfers, man, because, like, us coming off the bus would be so terrifying with the 6'8 guy, the 6'6 guy, and then the 6'7 guy, and then you had the 6'5 running back, but, dude, the, the, both of them are gone, which just blows. Probably top 50 if I are. Top 20, let's go. I was gonna say, like, top 50, like I said, but, ooh, we got five four stars moving up in the world, man. Oh, Hawaii. I, ooh, okay, they're a juggernaut all of a sudden, apparently. Good for them. The New Year's here, Coach Scuber, and this team is by far the best team we've had so far in this video. I do not even think it's, yeah, it is even, yeah, it's probably not even close. Like, there's no reason this team should not win the Big 12. You know, last year, I thought we'd be competitive. We went three and five, so I don't want to get myself, like, too excited or too hyped up, but there is just so much depth across the roster on offense and on defense. I would probably, yeah, I would bet that we make the playoff this year. We'll see what happens, though. A big part of the team's success this season is going to be Cedric Martin. This guy was a stud last year, 95 overall, 80 speed. He's already, he's already up to a 95 last year. He was at 86. I mean, this guy is just so good at football, dude. I love him. And then for defense, the best player on that side of the ball is the guy who won the Thor Hammer last year. Bobby Hines, 95 overall, 6'3", 275. Just a stereotypical big boy in the defensive line. He's not the fastest guy in the world, but he's very, very strong. 90 strength, 87 excel. He's just a very, very good football player. 7-2 start of the season. I was kind of hoping for a little bit better, but 7-2 is not bad. Only two losses, 4-1 in the Big 12 are off. Offense. Look at that. 404 points, dude, in nine games. That is spectacular, man. So we're definitely balling out. Not shockingly, lost to Texas Week 1. Bats back, though. Beat Wyoming. Can't stay. Appalachian State's pretty good. Lost to Kansas. Of all teams, we lost to. I mean, our offense. Holy squirrels. Look at the last three games, dude. 52-51, oh, 63-59. That's insanity. Let's go. This week, though, we're playing a top 20 team, West Virginia. But as you guys can see, we clearly have the advantage. We should be able to win this game, and then we'll be ranked next week which would be fun. First try, and they're already at the goal line, so hopefully this is not a sign of things to come. Come on, defense. Let's get a stop here. They're passing. Oh, they got a south ball. That was just way too easy, man. They scored again, and the offense has yet to score. Things are just not going well at all whatsoever. I thought this would be a dub, but so far, not so good, man. On X, R1. Yep, there it is. Please don't <laughs> bite it. Yes, we caught the ball. Let's go. Good job. Oh, that's Blake Bacon, baby. Good job, Mr. Bacon. We finally have a lead. It's only one point, though, but, I mean, there's not that much time left. We just need to make sure we don't get nuts to the face straight here on Moss, and we should be fine. All right, you won the Thor hammer thing last year. Yep, yep, karate chop him to the gun and get a big boy. Yeah. I love that. Good job, Bobby. That's GG's, man. We ended the season beat Kansas State and BYU, the Mormons, in back-to-back -back weeks. So, we finished 10-2, and, and we're number 10 in the country. So, we have a very, very good shot to make the playoff this year, which is nice. Some even better news is recruiting is going phenomenally. Did we get some studs? 480-plus overall, guys. You got this Wes Archer. I don't know how you say that. The moral of the story is we have a lot of good players this class. Lowest overall is 63 because tight ends just impossible to recruit, but all in all, I think we've done a phenomenal job this class, so I'm really, really happy with it so far. We are in the Big 12 title game. Coach Scuber, I want to make the playoff this year. I just want to get our feet wet, you know, pop our cherry when it comes to the playoff stuff. We're playing Baylor. I don't think this game should be competitive. Their overall is really low, so let's just go out there and take care of business. They've already scored a touchdown, which I don't like seeing, but Cedric's not worried, dude. We're going to score it here. We got this. We're going to tie this bad boy up. I just got a new PlayStation controller. I'm feeling on top of the world. X? Oh, yeah, it's got to be it, right? Yes, it is. Let's go, dude. Uh, that was a dude. Nah, that doesn't make sense, though, to say that was a doozy, because I think it's a bad thing. But, yeah, either way, we scored a touchdown. I just need to stop talking. I really hope their first touchdown drive wasn't hit it and quit it, because they have not scored since. We're up three points. Back at the goal line. Come on, Cedric. You got this, buddy. Just run. R1. Let's open in the flat. That's just... Can't make it that easy for Cedric, dude. He's a stud. He's a ball player. It's like his 50th touchdown of the season. Good job, Cedric. Phenomenal spire here. We're up seven points. All we need is a first down. I, I was hoping we'd blow them out. They stuck in there, man. Good for them. But we're going to get a first down here. We're going to put this game away. Hand F. Is this cutback going to be a first down? Get in there, Pan! Let's go. That's uh, Patrick. No, different than the, the SpongeBob. Let's go, Pat. Good game, man. Let's go, Coach Scuba. We're hoisting up the Big 12 title. You know, last year we did not do well in the Big 12. But this year, though, was a new year, new us. We got the Big 12 title. Now we're on to the playoff. Playoff time, we got Miami in the first round from the ACC. They lost a couple games, but I'm sure they're still talented, so this will not be easy. But an okay start, I guess you could say. It's only 7-7, seven seven, but they have the ball at the goal line, though. So defense, try and get a stop here, guys. Interception, maybe? Or that is also an option, so that's great. God dang it, dude. Still looking bleak, dude. We're down 14 points. At least we're inside the red zone, though, so Cedric, we need 7 right here, man. No other way around it. Triangle? Oh, that's gonna be it. Cedric throwing lasers, man. The offense is so good. I don't know why we can't score, but at least we we did right there. It's fourth down. We're down five. The clock is running down. It's not looking good, man. We need to get a conversion right here and hope for the best. I don't like this at all, man.
And that's game over. God dang it, dude. Another offseason with two transfers and both these guys, you know, 164, 163. Like, we keep losing transfers that are tall, and I don't like it at all, dude. It sucks losing both these guys. Like, these guys are both going to be good players in the future. It's just not good. At least Marquise Harding's coming back, which is nice. But as you guys can see, Cedric, he is going in the first round. I tried to convince him to come back. He was not budget, dude. He wants to go make some money. Best of luck to you, Cedric. That just sucks for us, though, in a big, big way. And then we have five other guys getting drafted. So six in total. Bobby Hines, the Thor Hammer guy anthony Quero, elijah turner terry nelson and coinus smalling like these guys were all really really good players for us they would be sorely missed and then we have a decent amount of guys graduating a lot of these guys were starters like blake bacon so i'm gonna miss a lot of these guys siante devanas richard smothers you got the russian down here dylan matekovic so yeah it's unfortunate it's a sad day man signing day is here and this can either be the best signing day of the video or the worst Dontre Evans, Matthew Langford, Dominique Maxey. If we can go three for three here, that is literally three grand salamis. Like, all three of these guys are bona fide superstars in the future, especially Dontre Evans. We're battling Ohio State. We're battling Miami, Florida State. We're battling Rice, North Texas, Texas State, SMU. Like, we need to get these three guys. If we can go at least two for three, I will be ecstatic. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh, two for three. I can't be too upset. We got Dontre, who I really wanted to not get Dominique. Four hundred. 180 points that's it dude oh my god it's so heartbreaking at least you got ben culver as a backup plan and then matthew langford got him too so another exciting days in the books for coach scuba and i'm sorry i'm happy dude i was really worried that we might go over three right there because there was so much competition for those three guys but i'm just glad that we got them all dude i mean we have 16 guys there 70 plus overall i was like this class man there's just a lot of talent i'm so happy dontre evans stud john magyar stud adam borski he's gonna be the quarterback of the future because our quarterback room is non-existent right now and cedric left us so adam you are the man for the future trey hutchinson stud donovan stevens stud matthew langford stud. just so many studs i'm so happy probably top 15 yeah 11 we almost snuck into the top 10 florida was right above us but nine four stars 10 three stars every year coach scooper we're just moving up man up to four star t prestige as well so that's lovely the training results are in and i'll be honest i don't really know how to feel i think that if we had cedric for another season this team could win a national title i wish i was lying when i said that because thinking about it now it makes me very sad but i really think this court this team is literally one amazing quarterback away from potentially winning a national title, man. I mean, we were somewhat close last year, so it sucks, but this year will probably be a transition year if I were to guess. The best position group of the team, though, for this season is easily the running back room. We have a three-headed monster. It's like a hydra. You cut off Tony's head. Well, you know what, dude? Pat's gonna grow, and so will Julian. I mean, these three guys are gonna be studs. We're probably gonna run the ball like 30 or 40 plus times a game. I'm gonna try and spam the run like we do with Darrell Robinson because these three guys are just way too good not to play as much as possible. As for the defensive side, our best players is safety. Marquise Harding, 97 overall. Just the best player. He's super duper good in the armor. Ronnie Sutton's also really good. Strong safety. Like, these two guys at the back end should be very, 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 very good. 3-0, number four in the country. I really don't think that's warranted or granted. There's, I don't think we should be number four in the country, but I mean, we've been dominant so far. 111 points scored, only 37 given up, so I mean, at least that's good, but we're only 91 overall. Last year, we were in 95, so we're clearly a little bit worse. Barely beat Akron. Don't like seeing that. We did smack Utah State and Buffalo, though, but they're both crappy, so I don't really know how much to take from that. I mean, we'll see, but I was hoping it would be all dominant wins, but no. And on the recruiting show, we already have five commits to the class, and every single one is a 70 plus overall, including a 70 overall tight end. The most rare thing, it's like finding a diamond in Minecraft, and that's how I feel right now. Houston Lopez, he's gonna be a stud. I mean, all five of these guys are gonna be studs, dude. I'm super happy with how the recruiting class has started. We're playing our rival Texas this week, even though we're ranked number four in the country, it should probably be flipped, because they're a 99 overall, and I was worried about that, dude. They're incredibly good, so this is not gonna be the easy game, but we're gonna try our best. And for this game against the Longhorns, we have nine guys visiting. If we can win this game, which I don't know if we will, we'll see. I would feel very confidently that we're going to get a lot of commits. So let's just go out there and take care of business. It's going how I expected so far. We're down seven points, but they hit the ball at the goal line. We need to try and get a stop here. Come on, defense. Or get karate chopped twice, are you? Oh my god, this is gonna be a murder, isn't it, dude? Oh man, this is bad. I mean, at least we're trying our best. I figured we'd lose, but this has been pretty demoralizing. We're down 21. If we could just try and scrape right here, just make things somewhat interesting, I guess, that'd be nice. And it's picked up. Nothing's going well. I'm gonna hang the cleats up on this one. It's gonna be six, isn't it, too? No, we caught him, but yeah, this one's over, dude. I have, I just, it was, I had a bad feeling this would happen. There's all the recruits visiting, too, man. This is just not a good weekend. I don't know what convinced these guys to come, but whatever it was, Coach Scoober, 
Gilmore, let's go, man. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, seven, guys. Oh, my goodness, dude. We went seven for nine on the visit. That's insane, dude. And we didn't even win. We got clapped. Oh, this is awesome. Well, that is disappointing. West Virginia looks like they got revenge from us last year because I think we beat them last year, even though uh, we were the better team this year. I mean, they're offensively 79, but they somehow beat us, I think. But all in all, finished 93 this year. It's pretty disappointing, not going to lie, but I figured we'd be a little bit worse. 91 overall team. It only made sense. Beat Kansas, Cincinnati lost to Houston. Ooh, they're 4 and 8, too. That's a bad loss. The other loss was to West Virginia, as you guys can see. But yeah, most of our games are close this year. I mean, we had a couple blowouts against the Mormons and also against Texas Tech, but most of these games are just pretty close. Unfortunately, we lost two of them. And once again, for Coach Scooper, this recruiting class is phenomenal, dude. What's that? Two 84s, 83, 81, 80, 80. This class is so deep, too. 23 guys. Dude, the lowest overall is a 70, man. <laughs> This class is so good. Let's go, Coach Scooper. I love it, dude. Oklahoma, the cheese it ball. I'll be frank with you. I don't think this game will be close at all. So I'm just going to simulate and just hope that we can keep it close. I mean, Texas game was a blowout. This one is... Oh, we won. Let's go, cheese it's all the way around. All right. Good job, guys. I did not anticipate that, but I'm glad to see it. Let's go, guys. Good job. Finally, for once, dude, no transfers. The last two years, there's been like two transfers every freaking year. But Marquise is coming back too, so that's great, dude. I mean, we have the home run for the players leaving stage it looks like and then we have five cats getting drafted sucks to say goodbye to all of them but they're gonna do good things in the nfl best of luck to you guys as for the guys graduating there's a decent amount of guys not like anything too crazy gonna miss tanner ash uh julian okafor was pretty good i mean these guys were all solid stars like we're definitely gonna miss them but we should be able to replace them number one class in the country three five stars good god texas dude leave some five stars for everybody else they signed nine that is ridiculous i don't know how we had the top class i mean i know we signed 11 four stars but nine five stars that that's ridiculous, but I'll take it, man. This is what a number one recruiting class looks like. Just sexy, this top to bottom, everywhere, all the way around. There's just so many future superstars on this. I'm so happy, dude. 23. I wish we could have gotten this class like a couple years ago. I would have stressed out a lot less, but it is what it is, dude. It's still going to be on campus next year. I just cannot wait for these guys to get on campus, dude. They're going to be so good. Cameron Lambert, Tanner Turtolo, Boyd Heap, some just some sweet names. Patrick Jackson got a quarterback. I mean, everything is just, it's all good, man. The team this year looks pretty Stout Coach Scuber, I don't know about a national championship, I'll be honest. I really have no idea. Is it possible? Yes. Do I think we'll do it? Uh... I'm not so sure. We'll see. Adam Borski's back at quarterback last year. All he did was just take the snap and hand it off to the running back this year. There's going to be a lot more on his plate. 90 overall, 69 speed. Love seeing that. Wish he was a little faster, but 69, 69. Yeah, he's a really good quarterback. I'm excited to see you can do this year. Definitely our best position group this year is going to be the defensive line. Steven Matoyer, 5'11", 249. Definitely not the biggest guy in the world, but that's for Al Ellis, dude. 6'6", 265. He's the first guy off the bus. Very, very good player. And then Nicholas Irwin is right behind him. 6'6", 276, 92 overall. I mean, these three guys. Guys are just, they're monsters, dude. They're going to be so much fun to watch this year. I can't wait. Perfect undefeated 12 0 season, Coach Scuber. I did not think this would happen, but you know what, dude? I'm a happy, happy boy right now. 8 0 in the Calverts. Our points for was just insane. Our, I'm like, we just kept scoring. Our defense is pretty solid as well. I mean, all the way around, everything was good. I'm really just looking for any close games. Oh, that's right. We finally beat Texas. It only took us nine years to beat them, but we finally did it, man. Any other close games? Houston was close. We scored 40 points literally every single game except for two. I mean, our offense was just so explosive. We were blowing everybody out and on the trail things just continue to go beautifully dude like this class is also insane like there's a lot of 74 and lower overall guys but i mean the lowest overall is a 70 so there's like what probably like 15 guys that are 70 to 74 overall that's really really good for the future i mean i'm very happy with it i think we did a pretty good job it's not as good as the class last year that class was just insane but this class is definitely good big 12 title game coach scooper i think we've won this what we've won one big 12 title i think this video maybe two i don't know but either way we're playing kansas state we are vastly superior like the overall is not even close this should be a butt weapon has not been what i was hoping for dude it's only seven to seven we're playing a lot like the game that they want to play because we should be blowing them out right now we should be scoring points left and right we only have seven it's just not big good they're gonna get this field goal i'm guessing they're gonna make it we'll see it's up and yeah that guy has a leg on him so it definitely went through we finally figured something out there we got a lead we're up four points and we got a chance to extend right here so we just gotta do that giggity giggity goo Borski. Oh, that's not John. You can, it cannot leave the seam open. Right there. Easy piece for Trey E. Quants. Yeah, I definitely got that wrong. Whatever it is, touchdown. We're up 11 points. It's fourth in Antarctica. All we need is to stop them from getting a first down right, and they're running a slip screen. Are you serious? No way that works, right? Tackle Evans. I clicked off because I'm a scaredy pants. Let's go! And once again, Coach Scuber gets to hoist up the Big 12 title. That was just dominant. You know, it was a slow start in the beginning. I, I blame that. On Coach not giving a good enough pregame speech, but we took care of things after halftime and we picked up a dominant win. Playoff against Ole Miss really happy 
happy that they beat Texas because I don't know if we could beat them again. But either way, we're playing the Rebels. I'm feeling confident. I think we can win this game. Has that been the best start? We're already at double digits, which I do not like see it. But if we can score a touch right here, we'll be right back in it. Come on, Adam. Do it for Eve. Oh, there it is. Square. Is that a touchdown? Oh my god. That is! That is a touchdown! Let's go! Good job, Kajan! Only down five, so we actually have a chance to take the lead right here. So we need to take full advantage of that. Let's go, Adam. Circle. Oh, yeah, that's separation. Touchdown. Let's go. That was very much needed, dude. We finally got a lead. Good job, like Quinston. Oh, goodness gracious, dude. It's Hesty at its finest. We're down three points, but we do not want a field goal. We're going for the kill. We do not even have our starting quarterback, but that does not phase us and Coach Scoober. We're going to win this bad boy. Square. There it is. And so let's go. It's the slit, man. It's always the go-to. All right, boys. Do not get mossed. I don't know how to do a spin move in this game. I'm going to try, though. I'm just going to do it. Oh, I did a swim move. Oh, Dude, I thought for sure I'd get a sack right there. Yes, let's go. It didn't matter anyway. I I don't think that I, you know, affected the throw, but it didn't matter. We got the dub, boys. Moving on to the semis. Did not anticipate seeing this, dude, but I think this is awesome, dude. The 11th seed is on to the semis. Arizona State, they beat Ohio State last round. I don't think it'll be easy, but I'd rather play them in Ohio State, I'll be honest. Today's the day that we are dream killers, guys. No more underdog story. No more Cinderella. Only W's. Oh, my God. It just worked. I just launched it over the best. <laughs> Let's go, man. Oh, yes, dude. We're already at 14 points. We're about to score again. We are just taking it to him right now. We got to keep the foot in the pedal, though. We cannot give them any life. We got to choke them out like an anaconda. At least I think that's how anacondas work. They, like, suffocate their prey. Kind of like an alligator. X? Oh, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on, defense. It's up 21 at halftime, dude. We're just killing them. We're up a gazillion points. There's not much time left. If we can just get a first turn right here, keep the clock moving, it should be GG's. I think it's already GG's, but it should definitely put it away. I don't know why Adam's still in the game, but I don't hate it, dude. Let's go. Yep, first down. GG's. Moving on to the national title game, boys. Let's go. And lo and behold, it's Georgia. They were, what, the nine seed? So they beat Wisconsin, Notre Dame, and Florida State. So they've gone through the gauntlet, but one last game for them. Hopefully they lose this. Let's go, boys. Dropping back. X. Oh, I can throw that. Big throw. Catch. Let's go, McKivick. It's, 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 I'm not very good. You guys know that. Jake, good job, buddy. Haven't scored since. I mean, we're tied up at seven points. If we can score it here, though, we'll be able to touch that half, which would be really nice. Some people would settle for a field goal, but Coach Scuber is not some people. It's a, it's a gift. Gift. Get in there. Oh, no. Well, I guess he should have been some people. Oh, no. That's so bad, man. Oh, we fudged that up. So glad we're still somehow in this game, even though I freaking... I fudged up, dude. All right. It's as simple as that. Touch right here. Go for two. Win the game, Tanner. We got this. Triangle. Over the middle. Get in there. Jackson, he's fast. Let's go, Patrick. All right, boys. Go for two. Let's get the dub. I've always wondered what it would be like to be that fast, like what Patrick just did right there. Like, that would be so much fun. But no, I'm slow. I'll never get that experience. I like this. I like this setup right here. I like it a lot. X, Adam, 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 let's go! He got decked, but you know what, dude? He got the two point. Let's go, Adam. They don't have any timeouts, so if we can just get a sack right here or tackle them in bounds. Oh, no. Okay, it should be the last play of the game, right? Please just tackle. Just tackle. Tackle! Please, why is he so fast? Let's go! Yeah! That was very stressful. That quarterback's got some speed to him, but we finally caught him. Let's go, boys. And finally, Coach Scuber, what was this? Year nine, we win a national championship. It was not easy. Okay, this program lost eight straight games at one point in its existence. All right, it was not going to be an easy task, but Coach Scuber got the job done. This program, all they really know is sucking Coach Scuber. We turned things around pretty quickly in year five. We got to 11 and three, had a little bit of a down year, then 11 and three, 10 and three, and then the national championship in year nine for Coach Scuber. Click the video on the screen if you want to see me fix clumps in football. I think you'll love it.